the lands of Zarad. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war are soon to change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elf can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. we We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for... him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too.
shall die by my Warhammer, Draw Elf. Hey, no fair. That's cheating. I'm going to tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. Uh, my name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? Do you like Colorado? All hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Don't talk to her. She's not part. Don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. She don't talk to her. She don't talk to her. She's not part of the game. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. Be careful, the rock of insanity holds Mr. K, you're insane. K, you're healed. <laughs> You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A white thief? Never heard of one, but it's Jew, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. We welcome to our kingdom, douchebag the thief. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. <laughs> you know what procure means, right? That's old English for bad. Go buy a weapon. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for $2? Ah, a lovely purchase. Don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. You have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Oh, 
hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Heck! Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bows. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bows. Prepare yourself. Yeah. No, no, I said protect. Protect your bows. That's what I'm talking about. Dude, you're already way better than Clyde. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your thief ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. Suck it. You were all like, bam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! This elf Son of a fuck you biscuit! Ow! Do it, douchebag! Kick these elves' asses! In your face! You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you. Here. The rules say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all his attacks. Ah! Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him! Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass! Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King! Great job, douchebag! Kick their asses, new kid! I got you back! Hey, where the hell are you going? You got this, douchebag! In your face! Suck my balls! What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass! Ha 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 man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. Uh. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the wizard king. 
careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Stop it! Oh. Great job, douchebag! Let's do this, douchebag. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Fuck off! Uh, hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Now finish him! Now! Ah. Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na, 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 na. We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde? You are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, then you can make me a douchebag, but you sure can't fight. Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go, and send my warriors here. Fighters, go with him. We aren't allowed to go into the street. When it's such an open world, our parents don't want us getting hurt. The Wizard King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans. But Paladin Butters lets me be a squire. On the sly. Paladins seek justice for all races. These lands hold many dangers, new kid. Yeah, you moved to the wrong realm. Nice hair, douchebag. In your face! Uh. 
before I do any more healing. right now. Here, take some of this magic cure potion. Make sure you always carry a few potions. Just don't get grounded for raiding the apothecary's pantry like I do. Go to the bathroom. until you have more friends. I'm actually faster at Facebook sure a lot of walking. than I am at speaking. Here, this will just go a lot faster Ooh. if I friend you. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. We better get to the other guys first. What's the matter? Lost your stick? Ah! Yo, dog. Uh, can't I just go right back home after the flight so I don't get grounded? <clears throat> Sometimes my dad goes on road trips just to check out all feel my righteous fury. We'll see if it works. 
I don't even like donuts. This is what Jimmy gave me that noogie one time. You know you can die from a Stan one time gave me the grossest wet willy right here. Some kids gave me the worst pink belly over there one time. This is... If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. I used to be sad, but I found Jesus at the church. This movie is really sweet. Die, you, guys, you guys can't see it. Psst. Hey! Over here! Welcome to Tweet Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak? <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? <laughs> Not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> Too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you! Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. Y you give them this, they'll give you the delivery. <laughs> How am I supposed to do all of this? There's no way, man. Starbucks has like eight employees. Here, it's just me. Yeah. Hey, over here. I'll give you a good price.
were ordered. Legend has it that he who can collect enough will be rewarded. Welcome to the neighborhood! You are displaying the mighty frost. I continue to admire your awesomeness. for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. You got the envelope? Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package. Huh? Oh, shit. It's a kip! Let me in! Ain't got all day, pig! <laughs> this cop's crazy! Feel my righteous fury! Doctors must be cooking up a secret potion. Wonder if it's a healing potion. Sorry, I've already got friends. You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. You did it! You got the pickup! Oh, thanks, man. Dad, I finished my work. Can I go play? Where's today's delivery? Right here! Hmm, yep. That's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded. Like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak blend. Made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom.
Psst. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Al Gore! You know, Al Gore, I'm super important. All right, look, I've detected some very strange activity in this area. I believe we are dealing with Man Bear Pig. Yes, the Man Bear Pig. I know you're scared, but I need help. Take these and place them in the location specified on the Man Bear map, Pig. And now I'm going to make you my friend on Facebook. This is very prestigious. You have my email now, but don't give it out to anybody. I'm super serial. Hurry! We must know if Man Bear Pig is here or not! Dead human walking! Ah! Motherfucker! We're gonna send you straight to heck! Ah! I saw two rats running around last time I was at Skeeter's Bar. I'll probably still eat them. This here is the marketplace. This is where heroes can come for adventuring gear, nose jabs, and abortions. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Because we're such good friends! That's Butt Brady! Wait. I'll be watching you, new kid, on Facebook. I hope you post a lot of cat pictures. The best way to get to Canada is north. You better keep walking. Ah, motherfucker! Ah, oh, shit, when are we gonna catch a break? <laughs> Hello, Timmy. Timmy! What are you looking at, pussy? Well, hello there, Jimbo and Ned. Well, howdy there. Haven't seen you before. You must be the new kid that moved to town. And you're into hunting, huh? Well, my boy, you've come to the right place. South Park is chock full of things to shoot that would delight any taxidermist, survivalist, or weekend animal death enthusiast. Ain't much I can sell to a miner.
You're a douche. You're dead. What the fuck? Oh no! I've killed way bigger guys than you! Well, the new kid has. This is private property, sir. Oh! Just, we're seeing if it works. That wasn't so bad. Ooh. Yeah? Can I help you? What's this? Oh, the elf stick the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Move along, sir. I can't look at you without feelings of deep personal shame. Damn, I got the worst snuggie behind that building over there. It sucked. Who the fuck are you?
There's this cool old dude I who sells clothes on the other side of town. Okay. Kid walks we don't hang with conformists. Conformist. Go get the stuff to look like we do. me, homie. hanging out at the public storage. I'm not going back there. Soldiers reporting for duty, Grand Wizard! Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the- Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, man! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that douchebag is willing to take! You have to break out our thief, douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn. Dragon Shout. You fight well, douchebag. But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fight. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever, fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Hey. Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency! Hold! Hold! No, no, that was like a dragon peep. You gotta let it all out. It's a mighty roar! I'll show you one more time. Suck it in. Let it rumble. Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! Find the frequency! Hold! Hold! My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny. <laughs> could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, don't tell him. Okay, just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. It's hard to do when there's a chick watching, I know. Pretend she's not there. Ha! <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Don't go off home. 
Okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's boss, okay? Seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will assist you on your quest, douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. Guess I'm minding the shop now. You need any weapons or armor? Got some pretty good work here. Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar and I'm a level six thief and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker and you're in detention. Now start doing your homework, okay? I've got all the doors sealed and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. You are in breach of school law and must be punished! I don't think I like you very much. Officer down! Officer down! Send back up! I repeat, officer down! All hallway monitors to the right hallway! Oh, god damn it! Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig! You're not getting out of detention! I'll be out of here in ten minutes. Careful, douchebag. This dungeon holds many secrets. For centuries, these halls went unmonitored. But then the evil overlord Mackie rose an army of pinchers to protect his precious after-school detention. Now these minions lurk the halls, terrorizing and suspending the innocent. Sergeant! 
<laughs> Remember what the wizard taught you. you I think I'd roll about you. Give up because I've hidden the key somewhere and you'll never find it in my office. There's another one. He said to go. Oh, we can't get in without the silver key. Papers, please. Oh boy, bad guys. says there's a sixth grader hall monitor who has a zillion freckles in a clipboard made of human bone. They say he has a freckle for each kid he's suspended. Search him! No, Come on, no, we gotta find the no, brass no, key, no, you freak! The protector of the brass key will never surrender! from my cold, dead hands. need to stop playing around! He's got the brass key! He's some kind of dragonborn! Now look, this is detention time, not time to play Dungeons and Dragons! And besides, he's never gonna get inside here because to open the door you need the gold key and the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key, okay? Which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level, okay? You found the brass key! Here, guard the key! You're just making it harder on yourself! Ha 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 has issued a warrant for your apprehension! Unauthorized pedestrian! Uh. We're gonna send you straight to heck! Ow! Ah, ah, ah. Eight mercy! Ah. 
You can take the silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners. I sure hope the gold key is in there, or else the quest for the silver key has been all for nothing. Be careful, douchebag. This is Mackie's lair. One wrong step and we could end up in detention. The gold key. No human has ever laid hands on it before. Let's hope it holds the power to unlock the cafeteria door. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah, that's the boss. Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Forth is authorized. Arr! for busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess.
Can you keep a secret? Neither can I. Where the hell are you going? What, you... You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick some ass. Welcome to our base. All are welcome here, even those with chronic medical conditions. <laughs> at first, I didn't want to join the KKK at all, but the Grand Wizard made some really good points. Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. But now it is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Uh, oh God, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy, but being able to cup a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. No, 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 you gotta fill your hand all the way. Remember, hope in one hand and fart in the other, and you'll have a potent weapon in one of your hands. Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. Yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. <laughs> Come on, douchebag, you let it slip right through your fingers. Try again. Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. Yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson! Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't touch it, it's gonna be sweet. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's gonna try to new move. On guard! Now, Douchebag, cup a spell! Right, Scott's face. <laughs> All right, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag, and never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the elven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice. Make haste to the giggling donkey. Bye. <laughs>
There it is. The inn of the giggling donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, Butters! Oh, so, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The end of the Giggling Donkey harbors the scum of Alzaron. A glass of meadow wine, please. No meadow wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <laughs> a cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, Douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kenny and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. You think the bard's really down here? I think I hear him. Hello? <gasps> oh, Jesus! It's the bird! Prepare for battle, weaklings! Elves, fall in! Douchebag! It's a trap! You should have never come here, humans. I am a level 10 bot, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchant... With magical songs of enchant... With magical songs of enchant... Mag... Magical songs of enchant... Me, me, me. With magical songs of enchant... Mag... Magical songs of enchant... Me, me, me. With magical songs of enchant... Magical songs of enchant... Me. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow She didn't talk much, but boy did she swallow Wait, whose turn is it? Don't pay for that! Stoneberry, who is also ah, your mom. Ah, ah. By the hammer of butters! Uh. That was the most perfect throw I've ever tried. Uh. <laughs> ah, ah. What a butt kicking. Get down there and finish them off. I will protect this stick of truth. You're not getting taffy. Come on. <laughs> 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 hey, Sir Douchebag, up here. <laughs> the 
the bar hey, will reward us for this. Up here. I'll handle this. Ow. Ow, my ankle. I don't think it might be broken. Maybe I should take a look at it. Ah, oh, fuck me. Ah. Your word is the command, my lord. Yes, sir. There's a buddy. Thank you, Noble Paladin. Oh, my no, wound is here. In. Can you get us upstairs? I think they locked us out. Nothing a level 12 thief can't take care of. You guys go ahead. For the elf tank! <laughs> Someone help! That came from the kitchen. You're not getting popped up, fucker. Come on, the wizard's in the kitchen. We gotta help him. Ah! Bitch! I'll get you back. Didn't hurt. Ah. God damn it. Ah. I hate you. Ah. 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 You think this is funny, you son of a bitch? That's how you want it, bitch? Fine. You think that's fucking funny? Quit it. Hey, no fair! You fucking suck! Man! Oh no, you didn't! Ugh. It's a good day to die! Uh, for you, that is. Bitch, please! Ha ha! Ha ha! Sucks. I don't think so. Yeah. Ah, ah. Anything, but I kind of like it. Ah, shit! Your word is the command, my lord. Shall I heal the king, my lord? Or maybe let him suffer just a little bit more? Your word is the command, my lord. Your word is the command, my lord. Yeah, there you go, buddy. <coughs> His powers were too strong. The bard, he's up in one of the rooms. <coughs> they took Princess Keeney. They took her upstairs. I'm sure they're gonna rape her. Don't let them rape Princess Keeney. Meh. <coughs> while I go upstairs and make contact with the King of Elves! We 
we should give this in a really mean online review after we're done killing everybody. Beware, Whistle Witches! Hello? Use your magic on the front door, juice bag! Hey, open the door! <laughs> Use your magic on the front door, Juice Bag! Come on, quick! Protect the bar! He's over there. He's hurt bad. Good thing my medicine skills are plus four. We'll revive the wizard. You guys get upstairs. No hurry, douchebag. The princess is just being raped.
is keeping her prisoner! did they rape you? <laughs> I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe, and I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah, uh, can he do that? He has a stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. Hey, let us up! You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. Now, looky what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some big old bitties. Man, oh, man. Good job, Princess Gone Wild. Double D buddy powers.
The bard has no honor. Beat the Not when I'm this close. You've nowhere to run, bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, wizard king. Step forward now and fulfill your d and fulfill your de day Step forward now and fulfill your day. Step forward now and fulfill your day. Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your day. Your day. Your day. Step forward now and fulfill your day. Step forward now and fulfill your destiny. You are no match for a grand wizard. The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you. Fine. You want to throw down, bro? Kick his ass, douchebag. Who is douchebag? That's Sir Douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, bard. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Set him up, knock him down. Nay! Hot, 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 hot! This will be my greatest performance. That all you got? Yeah. That all you got? 
got. Close your eyes, no more thinking about thinking about your troubles. Sleep now with Jesus, for you are blessed. Dirty wench. Yeah. That all you got? <laughs> wow, what a terrific target. Oh yeah! Hot, 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 hot! You want a piece of me? He's gonna play the brown note! Block it out! A pop is on your neck! You want a piece of this? Ready to leave, Sir Douchebag? Okay, but hurry up. This inn is no longer safe for our kind. Ready to leave, Sir Douchebag? The Stick of Truth is back where it belongs. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the Great Battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom. Thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. It's late, hon. Your parents will be worried. Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town.
Well, I'm having the dream again. Okay, this is dreamy. What's happening? Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh, can we try the big silver one again? Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! Wow, look at that! You must have broke off part of the probe and now you can control it with- I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship. Uh, hello, is this recording? If you are hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity.
Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, yeah, yep, that's the Lambda containment block. Take that elevator next to you. The probe in your asshole should interface with it. Great, you're in. You're looking for a security console. Should be one above you in probe maintenance and another below you in the atmospheric processor. Yeah, I know this stuff. Can't remember which one you want, though. Been a while since I did this. Ah, uh, hello. Is this recording? If you are hearing this, I've been taken hostage on some kind of alien ship. The aliens did unspeakable things to my rectal cavity. But I've broken free. I'm so scared and alone. I must find a way off this ship. Oh god, they're coming. Why am I standing here making an audio lock? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone! Moo, moo. Day two. So hungry. I've searched for food, but the only thing I've found are other people's annoying useless audio locks. Why did they bother when they clearly were in terrible danger? Each audio lock I find is more irrelevant and boring oh than the last. I must oh god, I got an itch. Five. Oh god, that is the worst. Oh! Oh! Great, you're there! There! I think that's- Oh no, no, that's- Oh no, that kills! Switch it back, switch it back! Keep going, I think you're onto something. I knew I could trust you, keep it up! Uh, I'm still stuck. Better try the other console. No more! No more, please! You're, you're gonna have to find another way! Okay, let's try the other console. God, I hope this works.
before. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find anything to eat. Or a clue to get me off the ship. Just... There! I think that... Ah! Oh! You've got to be close! Come on, try again! Okay, next time's got to be the turn. Give it all you got. The eyes! You've got to keep trying. I believe in you. Okay, that one doesn't work either. Head back towards the elevator. to do this but there's one more console you can try in that room across the bridge the alien who works there is really tough so be careful and remember to use electricity Saturday night, feeling all right, feeling okay. Day seven. Okay, I did find one audio log that was mildly amusing. A woman trapped on this ship left an audio log about some papers she had left in an alien cabinet, and she told me the code was 776. Freude! 
Great, you made it! Okay, use this panel here and we can all go home! Thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again!
Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving! We've got another UFO crash.
and that a large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. Oh, my God! They came out of nowhere! There was a huge earthquake and then, and then there was burning in my yard! It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick! And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars and we have to lay waste to their entire base! You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all! Fucking cheaters. I was just come over to see if, well, if you wanted to come play with us again. <laughs> I'm not part of your society. I don't follow your fads and Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the Kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the Wicked Elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Aw, oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then, maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. I'll give you a good price. Never take this watchtower. Ow, jeez. Ow. We will kill them with compassion.
Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some... Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. You chose wisely, new kid. Come with us. So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the Wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carmen's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. I am sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the she-ogre. She has no soul. You will help me battle the Shiogre and reclaim my iPhone? Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. The humans have raised banners around town claiming elf territory for their own. So saith the Well of Insight. Plus, it's all over Twitter. The Well says balance can be restored only if a chosen one were to fuck up their banners. No trick, human. Ugh. Any ally of the Elf King is an ally of mine, and my shop is open to you.
You know what every good bard should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play f f fantastic melodies. If I only had a flute. My Facebook says the rancher might be selling one. You know where the ranch is? I'd love to see if I could buy that flute. Don't let Carmen use you. Don't let Carmen use you. Don't let Carmen use you. Hey, if you ever want to sue anybody, you can come to me first, okay? You have slain the mighty Frost I continue to admire your awesomeness. is better than being a pirate. Who wants to live in stinky old Somalia? Come play hide and seek with us. You're it. Ah! Carmen gave me a swirly in that public bathroom over there one time. Cigarette, you guys got more? Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke here. Ah. Ah. Fellas, we can work this out. Stalling won't save you.
Who? What? Oh, hey, I guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? Hey, nice. <laughs> Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Both of us getting grounded. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... what's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't gonna do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come, Come on! on. Let's go! Come on! Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. Why don't you exercise your free speech at home, don't little boy? Don't screw it around in here. Fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? This is a PTA meeting, young man. Be on your way. I used to have a bad hoarding problem, okay, but I got past it. Now I can just throw things away. Would you mind throwing this away for me? I just need it thrown away somewhere very specific. I'll show you on your map. Okay, okay. All, All purchases go to support the PTA, okay?
I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. You see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Leaky, it needs more surface tension. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Leaky, it needs more surface tension. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey? Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Kia! Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go.
huge foot. Go about your questing, Hobbit boy. Go conform somewhere else, kid. We are Go all take dying a picture, from the jerk. moment we are born. <gasps> oh. I see you all need stuff and decay. You are a rotting corpse to me. You're weird. If you have any evidence, get it to Mr. Marsh, okay? Okay, thanks. You threw that away from me? You might be thinking I still have a hoarding issue, but you'd be wrong, okay? Would you like to be friends on Facebook? That's all you've got is a sign? At least crap on a desk or something. Hey, quit screwing around! I hope you're not playing that dumb game with everyone.
<laughs> you should bring Jimmy here. I think he'd like it. Boy, the Cattle Ranch, we're here. Excuse us, hello? Hey, get off my ranch! Sorry to bother you, sir. We are elven warriors of the forest. I understand you might have a, f a flute for sale. You want to buy the flute? It just so happens I'm a level 10 bard, and a flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of en a flute is just what I need to play. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. Magical songs of enchantment. Of enchantment. A flute is just what I need to play magical songs of enchantment. Enchantment. Yeah, well, only problem is the flute's in the barn, and there's where the crazy cattle are locked up. Damnedest thing I ever saw. Some of the cattle started acting real funny. I, I tried to calm them down, but they shouted something in German and, and then tried to kill me. Well, don't worry, sir. You just need the help from a level 10 bard and his warrior friend. Leave it to us. All right, if you say so. Here's the keys to the barn. Cows, it's time to stop misbehaving. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. Hey, fellas. Gently now, put your mind to rest. Set him up, knock him down. Thank you, I'll be here all fortnight. This one on the side. You well, 
Bells were pretty all right. Did you find the flute? I sure did, Rancher Bill. And now my bardic abilities will be greater than ever before. Well, you earned it. See you around. Thanks, new kid. I couldn't have done it without you. Where should we go next? Hey, this is my spot. It's all in the time. Timing. Hey. Ow! Ah! Ah! Sleep now, the whipper wheels are busy dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Everyone's a c critic. Did you fuff, fuff, shit your pants? I know exactly where we are. No, actually, I don't have any idea where we are. Is that the setup or the punchline? I've received word from a Twitter raven that the elves are claiming they don't have the stick. That's exactly what sneaky little Jew elves would say. If they act like they don't have the stick, then we can't take it. God, I fucking hate them! What, you? You want me to fight with you? Okay, just... The Grand Wizard said that I'm in charge of the shop now because I sound like Clyde. I don't sound like Clyde. Anyways, welcome, weary traveler. Would you like to see my wares? My music still. You can't see me. Look at the forensic evidence around. You sure you don't want to stand here instead of me? Look closer. Did 
Down on that side is where my parents sleep. And Give me back my iPhone, demon! You little turd! I've brought help! Let's see you try and take us both! Ah! Your days are numbered, Shiogre! My blade. Take mine iPhone again, and I shall bring justice swifter yet! Get out of my room, turd! I bow to you, Ogre Slayer. I'm glad to call you friend.
Oh. Fresh meat for my trusty wolf companion. Oh. What I do? Billy tried to steal my hidey spot, but I made him go away. Sure is a lot of walking.
Sheesh. Sweet. <laughs> this place is dark and scary. What if you never found me? Good job, Junior Algorian! With all the sensors in place, I can get a reading on my... <gasps> I knew it! These are definitely hot man bear pig readings! Come with me. I must put this data in the data man bear pig base. Have you accepted Christ into your heart? The South Park Church is two blocks that way. Excuse you! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have to prove your maturity listening to this movie, and you can't because you're not a freaking egg. Uh. Oh!
Are you new? Hey, that means you don't know anything about me, huh? Don't, uh, don't believe everything you read on Facebook, okay? Our territory is restored. I am honored to friend you, Dragonborn. Our king may trust you, but that doesn't mean I have to. Don't let Cartman use you! Okay, I guess that's cool. If it's passes, it means you get a free wish. Admire your awesomeness. Now, I continue to admire your awesomeness.
Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's going to open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving Enchiritos? What? Well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Enchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Enchiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. What was that? What was that? Sorry, absolutely nobody allowed past. Check back in a few weeks, thank you. Maybe we can sneak by if you can distract him with your magical butthole powers. It sounded like a clown horn filled with prune juice. This place doesn't really look like a Taco Bell. That's odd. Hey, get out of there! That's Taco Bell property! Shh! What was that? I think someone's testing Tupperware. But so far we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into... Nazi zombies. Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread and... We have a big problem. All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move! Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have your roof and hunt! Ah! Why can't you just leave us alone?
That was the most perfect throw I've ever seen. Oh! Boy, this is Nito! Uh Man, this secret government base room sure is boring. You think that a secret government base would have more cool stuff in it? I think those guys Don't are doing that. The place is chopping up! Meet the start!
feel that righteous fury! A Taco Bell, can you believe it? What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. What? Set charges underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're gonna just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see... Ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. 
Nice. I'll send it to you. If it's passes, it means you get a free wish. That's the last time Taco Bell fucks with the PTA. Just because I'm your friend now doesn't mean you get to screw around. You did around. very well today, young man. Kyle is so lucky to have so many nice neighbors his age. PTA will, PTA will call on you should we need you again. How many car... crashes have you been in? Enjoy your popularity in 1.9 children yeah, in your 401k. What the hell is your hobby is failing you? I gave you your quest. Find your own pit of despair. God. I see you. We are all dying from the oh, please. moment oh, please. we are born. What goth kid walks Walk around off. in those clothes? Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo, but can you dance goth? Less enthusiasm? Totally fucking bullshit. That's not how you drink coffee. You call that smoking? I'm feeling the rage. I like what you did with your coffee there. Whoa. Applicate combo. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I felt his pain. All right, new kid, you've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us and we'll be there. Twitter Raven has told me of your success in recruiting another faction. Simply call them here, and your dedication to the trial elves will be complete. Climb up into the treehouse and summon your allies.
You kid, I'm sorry I ever doubted you. I hereby make you a member of the Drow Elves of the Forest. Yay! New kid, you have our friendship. I hereby level you up to the rank of Commander. My lord, my lord, we know where the humans are hiding the stick. What, really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter. Ah, you shot down their message, Raven. Right, right, we shot down their Raven, and the evil Wizard King has hidden the stick inside his desk at school. Ah, dude, of course. Carmen hid it in his desk. Drow elves of the forest, we know where the humans are hiding the stick. I knew Carmen was cheating. We shall march on the school and make the hallways drip of their blood. Defenders of freedom, we thank you for your courage in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer elves or goths. Tonight, we fight as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The elves are here. <laughs> they have blown their war horn. Blow our Stan. Okay. Elves, flank left. Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind. The front's barricaded. Commander Douchebag, see if you... Get in through the side entrance and take out their defenses from behind. Your word is the command, my lord. This calls for a little bardic access. Open sesame! We kicked all their asses and cleared the way for you. Have at it, Hobbit. Attention, Elf King! The building has been fortified, and the armies of Christ shall never surrender! You will all die in this place! <laughs> wow, what a mess! The walls are too strong, we've... Chef's in a better place now. I'm glad he can rest in peace. Don't throw your life away. We dine on human flesh, no kid. Where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, holy uh, shit, you got him! Let's go! Ah, uh, oh, fuck me! Uh, oh, dude. 
going down. You are fucking dead. I killed your friend. My ranger sense saw this coming. Yeah. Oh. Hello. My health have gotten low. You got a health potion on you? Little help over here. Super grievous right now. <laughs> kind of like dying right now.
after the earthquake to report for duty. <coughs> we didn't know school had been canceled. <laughs> we heard a sound from down here. Found this green goo. It, it was everywhere. It changed the other hallway monitors. <coughs> well, it kind of serves you right for being a patsy-ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something in the goo. It... It... Then partagen off then! Ah! Somehow that green goo makes hallway monitors even lamer! Mind if I update my status while we're waiting here? 
You got somewhere you'd rather be? Doesn't sound good. Your word is the command, my lord. It's worth a try. Sparky, here, boy. Hey, Steven! <laughs> 
at all that green gooey stuff. Don't touch that green stuff. Douchebag, if you're listening, I know you've been tricked, but I forgive you. Join me again, and together we'll rule the land as master and slave. They're here, get ready! Hey, douchebag, how'd you like some flaming dog tape? Ah. You suck, butters. This one's got your name on it. You'll regret this, butters. You humans are worthless, Butters. I hope I don't hit my own team. You suck, Butters. Look out below! We can't hide, douchebag. Hey, if we stand by that barricade, he might miss. There he is! I've got plenty of dog poop, douchebag. Oh, these bags are stinky. I wonder where to hit him. Oh. Nice work, dude. Weak, dude. Hello? You mind if I update my status while we're waiting here? Let's finish it! <laughs> you hit like my grandpa! Very nice. 
feel my righteous fury! Go, boy. Ugh. Is the hold up? Meanie, taste bad dishes. 
Health potion on you?
know we're gonna win. Can we skip this? Seriously, douchebag, you're breaking my balls here. Light a match. Badass is in there with the stick. Commander Douchebag, lead us. Oh, Lemmy Winks. You're a traitor, douchebag. How could you? Because he knows who the cool kids are. Go ahead and kick Carmen's ass, new kid. I brought you into the game. I made friends with you before anybody else would. He doesn't want to play with cheaters. I understand the elves have clouded your mind. Fight it, new kid. Come back to the lads. Attack Kyle. What are you waiting for, dude? Punch him right in his smug little lying face. Get him, new kid. It's not me you should be fighting, it's him. So pick a side. Kick his ass, douchebag. I can't believe this is even a choice. Hey, nope. Oh, you motherfucker, I knew you were a fucking douchebag! I thought what we had together was real, douchebag! restaurant with me cuz i like to be taken out to dinner before i get fucked there's only one grand wizard of the kkk
The evil wizard has been defeated. Great job, new kid. Goth kids, take the stick from inside his desk. Victory is ours! Hey, wait a minute. Our desks don't have insides. What? Desks at this school just have tabletops. But... T Twitter said that... Look over here. This desk has writing on it. Check my locker. Whose desk is that? That's... That's Clyde's desk. Greetings, humans and drow elves of Zarod. Clyde! He took the stick! While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff! With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead! Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth! Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad, I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, and my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms, and strip both kings of all their power! <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Come and get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde! You're lost in time and space! No, I'm not! Yeah, you are, asshole! Army of Darkness, defend the fortress! Craig, you're on my side! You don't have authority anymore. The Keeper of the Stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it, I have fucking authority! Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters! Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime! Oh shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime! <laughs> okay, coming, Dad! Hello, hello. You missed the news. Looks like we're going to have the country's largest Taco Bell in our new town. Mommy and Daddy spied on your Facebook page and saw that you're making lots of friends. Why don't you tell us about them? No? Okay. Well, it's late, sweetie. Head on up to bed, and I'll be there to tuck you in. Go on to bed, sweet. Go on to bed, sweetie. Your mother I'll be said to get to goodnight. bed. Now do it before you get grounded. Your mother said get to bed. Now do it before you get grounded. Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are. Welcome out. Search for an
a pants cake. We won't stop until we have enough pants. Yum tum, yummy tum cake. Time to go to work, work all night. Search for a pants cake. We won't stop until we have enough pants. Yum tum, yummy tum cake. Oh shit, he's awake. What? This kid is awake. What the fuck do we do? Oh fuck. I guess we gotta kill him. All right, fuck it, let's kill him. Any last words, pussy? You are so fucked! Holy shit, what? Shit, he's too big! We can't beat him! Well, if you can't beat him, shrink him! Go ahead, warlock! This hat's going straight up your ass! You are so fucked! I could be collecting underpants right now. Just cause I'm small doesn't mean you can ignore me! I'm on a schedule here! Just cause I'm small doesn't mean you can ignore me! I could be collecting underpants right now! Just cause I'm small doesn't mean you can ignore me!
just sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you jick love to me? Of course I will, darling.
Just let it go, could you? You couldn't just let us pick your underpants. 
more time gathering underpants. All right, all right, you win. Take this. Take it. You can grow smaller, big, whenever you feel like it. All we wanted was to collect underpants to stop the Taco Bell from releasing its toxic green goo into our underground world. You see, the green goo is actually a... Since a lot of our best guys are dead by your hand, can you help us collect underpants? We just need a few more to hit our quota. Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is. <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, 
you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you suck my elven dick, Butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaun is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the Girls. The Girls? Kyle, the Girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince Girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends, I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! We're all in this together now. If you need me to fight that... I will. If you just need a human shield, there's always Cartman. Ah! 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 I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. Hello, new kid. Oh, what sad times these are when the nation's youth run around in dungeon clothes playing the games of Satan. Young man, if you really want power, there's only one thing you must do. Find Jesus. Find him, and when you do, return to me. Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, did Baby lose her toy? Come on, you guys! You can- who is this? Beat a kid if you know it's good for you. Let me in him! Oh, I hope 
I didn't break it. Oh, phew. Hey, thanks. I owe you one, kid. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle! Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle! Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, right, 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 right away! Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle! Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yes! Yeah. 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 What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. What was it like in there? Is their technology more advanced than ours? Hey, kid, maybe you can help us with something. All these homeless people in South Park are making us look like a cold and heartless town. If you could go and beat the crap out of all the bums and vagrants, they'll leave town, and it'll restore South Park's reputation as a compassionate community. You gotta get every single one of those bastards, okay? Chop, chop. How many car crashes have you been in? I don't like this. Are you sure we can trust the girls? Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! 
What do you mean? You guys are my best friends. Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. Oh, boy, bad guys. Sorry. Well, that's what you get for being mean to people. Hiding is fun. I'll hide better next time. I'm not hiding at the pond again. Girls want to thank you for your help. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Baby's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! Oh, no, you 
you didn't. That deserves a selfie. Fashion emergency! Call an ambulance! I'll have to borrow that! That deserves a selfie! Are you sure you want to wear that? You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. All right, new kid, get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi. Hi. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Well, next to a real girl, that is. Zombies came for the tacos, that's my theory. Here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room. I'm sorry. Your little friend will have to wait out here. I'll wait right here. Don't forget about me. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. What the? Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor.
Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? ESRB is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today! Let's go! Quarantine the place! There's something crawling under the floor, sir! I've got him! Going on, I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor Tihi? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it. Oh goodness. Christmas time is once a year. Every critter holds it dear. Phew. Every Ow, my balls! My balls! My Christmas malls! My, so my favorite shopping malls! I'll close at five, it's Doctor. Can we please get this over with quickly? Time, and it oh, that's cold! That's cold! This is about as wide as I can cape, Doctor. When we hear about how Christmas okay, okay, do it. I'm ready. Watch the balls! Oh 
Oh god, it's snagged! Oh god, it's snagged! He did it! Alright, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. Blood?
are they? Man, those little babies are pissed off. They're killing us! Jeez, it's a holocaust out there. Attention.
That's it, that's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! <laughs> get grounded anyway, you might as well. I just... was seeing if it works! That was a <laughs> By the hammer of butters. Mm. Well, I'm sorry. You should be nice. Take that! You think we were too hard on him? I am Damien, the Antichrist, the son of Satan, and I have never witnessed a thing as hideous and vile as the one you mortals one call Rob Schneider. You're being rude. And his life changed forever. Now he's sharing his body with an eight-year-old boy. And he's about to find out that being eight oh! ain't so great. Rob Schneider is Kenny. Rated PG-13. And now for your feature presentation, the classic re-read, re-release of Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. In this version, the word Wookiee has been changed to Hair Challenge Denim, while the entire cast has been digitally replaced by Ewoks. This November, Adam Sander shits in your eyes, ears, and mouth. Big head! Stolzer Ergebenheit! Ein stolzer Freude!
The girls want to thank you for your help. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris, and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us, and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Babinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Yeah, it's just, it's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Yeah, it's just, it's just not working. Let's try that other outfit. Uh, no, tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that. Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants or, you know what, just take, take the pants off too. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch, stop him! You'll never take me alive! Oh boy, bad guys! Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. 
All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. be a model. If you ever want some work done on your nose, see Doc. <laughs> Maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to... Yeah, I think we should probably go that way. <laughs> no, you see? Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. Halt! None shall cross into Canada without... Oh, never mind. I've seen you. Oh. walks into someone's house. Ottawa is the capital of all Canada. Talking to the prince is the best part of the tour, or the candelabras, depending on what you're into. and Princess of Canada! Hail! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very thoughtful! <laughs> it's a self-guided tour. You're gonna have to figure it out on your own. <laughs> 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 well, well, what have we here? A hero from the south? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the great border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. 
I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. <laughs> but I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with direwolves. You know what direwolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. I see you're not to be trifled with. <laughs> that was very thoughtful. <laughs> Stinky Momiki. Hold it right there. Here are your photos with the prince and princess. Would you like two 8x10s or six 5x7s? All right, there you go. You can exit right through there. Oh, I would have picked the 8x10s. <laughs> <laughs> Sound off, Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Ottawa Clinic. Are you here? Your health is fully restored, and your HIV test is negative. <laughs> Welcome to the Bank of Ca- Oh, American money. The current exchange. Welcome to the Bank of Canada. Oh, American- <laughs> Maybe you should see a doctor. How did your ass learn such incredible magic so easily? Welcome to Winnipeg. <laughs> this is a conservative township, so mind your P's and Q's. Do whatever you want with your T's and M's, however. <laughs> you got mud on that one? <laughs> Somebody's baking brownies. They say that two Canadian monks live on a secluded island in the middle of Vancouver. This poor citizen was killed by a dire bear. You know Sorry, buddy, but there's dire bears up there. It's like a bear. You know what a dire bear is. You know what a dire bear is, right? You know what Winnipeg is known for? Uh, neither do we. Ah, yes. This writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, kill off all the dire bears in the north of town and I'll help you however I can. Granted, anyway, you might as well. Feel my righteous fury. By Jove, you've done it! Look at all these diabare pelts! Now I can finally make a diaro. All right, give me that document. Mm, yes, this is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian. The Minister of Montreal can translate it. But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec. I will speak with the Prince. Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister. Boy, oh boy, I will have the most dire robe in all of Canada. There 
there you are. I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal. I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the bishop. <gasps> kill the bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste! Stinky <laughs> Mominky! You're not coming around here, are you? <laughs> Somebody's baking bread. <laughs> <laughs> Shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. <laughs> Sound off, Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> I just... we'll see if it works! was the most perfect throw I've ever seen! Remember the golden rule! By the hammer of British! Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Ah! Maybe if we replace his balls with the pig balls, he'll come back to life again.
Bamf Canadians are quite religious. <laughs> yeah, <just funny. laughs> Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's bars! Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. But Ottawa is clear on the other side of Canada. How are we supposed to get there? Uh huh. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. No, I didn't know that. Yes, come on. Yes, I hate that guy, too. Uh huh. No, I haven't seen that show as a kid. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. <laughs> Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about. <laughs> Who are you? What is the sound of one anus farting? 
<laughs> now oh, you yeah. know. What is the sound of one anus farting? <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Oh. <laughs> he knows dragon shout. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he farted into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. If he's really good, how come he can't sneak a fart behind your fast? The Sneaky Squeaker! Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Here, watch again! Now you try! Believe in yourself! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! Now go out and use your anus for the good of... And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Hello? Asuko!
feel my righteous fury! Oui, oui, oui! C'est là, c'est mauvais! Allô? En secours! Well, the new kid has. Feel my righteous fury! Oui, 
Ouais, ouais, ouais! C'est là, c'est mauvais! Allô? En secours! Who's about you? Oui, oui, oui! C'est là, c'est mauvais! Allô? En sous... Ah, oh, shit, when are we going to catch a break? Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh! N'avez-vous besoin de quelque chose de traduit? Ok! C'est là, c'est traduit, passez là! C'est là, c'est traduit, passez là! Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup!
Well, here we go again. Feel my righteous fury! Oh boy, oh boy! Maybe we should just stay put and wait for someone to rescue us. Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See? Right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! <laughs> 
But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! 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 You serve us well, new kid, so you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! You're really different from the other boys. I learned like, betrayal you're okay. As an honorary girl, you've been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? You're totally hot. You're totally the girls hot. Will be the girls will be ready to help you whenever you need us. Thank you so much for clearing my name. Heidi's having a now when party. girls call me a whore, Oops. it's more in a joking way. I, I bet you're thinking about something totally deep right now. I heard some kids trash the school last night. are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clytus! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, god damn it. Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare! Ready! And let's be the plan! Yeah! Let's get it! Ow! I'm hit! They they tore my costume! I worked really hard on it! You sons of bitches are gonna get what's coming to you! There you go, Al. Thanks. Here, I got this for you. You're no match for our dark powers. Our lord and master calls for your head. I hope you like dying. Take the tower from the inside! Me and the pirates are gonna scale it from the outside! Surrender or die! Ow! Fuck me, that hurts! Ow! Your word is the command, my lord. Yes, sir! There you go, Al. Fuck you! Fucking die, Al! Ow! From our brothers, you furry fuck. <laughs> that one sounded like it hurt. <laughs>
We are the Dark Lord's mighty Cyclops. Nice job. You shall not pass. Uh. I don't think I like you very much.
I'm sorry. chance. Haha, you're trapped. I'm a level 14 thief and the Dark Lord's chief assassin, and you will all perish here and now. Douchebag, I'm stuck. Can you get me in? My three Nazi cow minions will take care of you. Hey, no fair, guys. I can't let this thing go. Whatever. I should have started. <laughs> well done. It's almost there. Get it, get it, Craig, you fucking traitor. <laughs> See how you fare against the Dark Lord's chief assassin and a cow. It's a good day to die. Uh, for you, that is. I really found myself relating to Clyde's views about darkness and enslaving the world. Sorry. Let's rumble. Why fight one crank when you can fight five? I'm immune to splash damage. Clyde said. You should have turned evil when you had a chance. Ah! Let's rumble. You're straight tripping, son. Uh. Being a traitor is awesome. You guys are missing out. Feel my righteous fury! I fight one crank when you can fight five.
No more. Rumble. doing here oh it's my favorite kid listen I found out what they were doing at the women's clinic they were looking for a candidate to put a snook into they're gonna nuke all of South Park a snook you boys don't understand they've put the snook here who did whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell we should have known we should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive the quality of their character like the quality of their food should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ. How long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! No! We can't just pull it out! Snoops have triggers on them! We have to abort it! From inside! Oh, come on! Who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Uh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Oh, uh, who could it be? I don't think. There's got to be someone. It seems like it'd be easy to find someone who could get... Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook. Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Oh man, it stinks like shit in here. 
What's that smell? Is it me? New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great adventure is waiting you ahead. Journey onward, new kid, or you will soon be You're dead. Sick. The road ahead is full of danger and fright. Take onward, new kid, with all of your might. New we kid, will kill them with compassion. New kid, new kid, new kid. That wasn't so bad. Dude, are we really gonna go up slate? Your word is the command, my... Sparky! Here, boy!
am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. We know we're gonna win, can we skip this? Journey a distance far and Lemmy wings, lemmy wings, the time is growing late. My anger Hold is greater now. now and seal your Heads up! Ich stolze Freude! Nicht leben! Wir halten Deutschland! Hey, ya! Help you light the way. There's still a lot of ground to cross inside the so Ouch! Head of your lies attention, and your strength still lies within Freedom from the ass of doom is the truth hey. you will win Let me hey, Up right here. No way, dude. Take the magic helmet torch to help you light the way. There's still a lot of ground across inside the map, so gay. Ahead of you lies adventure, and your strength still lies within. Freedom from the ass of doom is the treasure you will win. You're going down! You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. Hey, is that Carmen's mom's? We can't get by, there's too much shit here.
I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. Take cover! I'm hit! Weak, dude. Hello, new kid. I am Katatafish. Katatafish of the Stomach's core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katatafish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. Yo, what? Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Once a year. Every X check placement. Every ah. Christmas means so much cold. to us so all. cold. Danger. Abortion Christmas access slit stress level critical. Abortion all access all slit dilated. Initiate control chip Christmas removal. Wrong chip. Wrong chip. Ow. Not that. I needed that. Wrong chip. Self-destruction sequence aborted. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Slave? What are you feeling? Uh, Jesus! Uh, Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> Great job! You've disarmed the snook! South Park is saved! Yes. Now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clad once and for all and take back the stick of truth!
You thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness? Clyde, back away from that stuff! Oh, but I have yet to complete my army! You have come to witness the power of darkness! Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way. They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck. Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman. Ah! Get him, Commander Douchebag! Let's all make sweet love. Hell. Forget to tip your serving wink. It's a good day to die. Uh, for you, that is. You're straight tripping, son. You tried to eat us, Chef! Dad, you have to obey. Obey me! In high zing! Ha 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 ha! Schon Irish 
Schule! of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Uh, okay, um, you know what? I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that, I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time! Ah! <laughs> we did it, dude. That was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do. We've got him. We've got the Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What the? Who, what? So it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has the stick of truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back! Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yan, yan, yan. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh... You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! 
I can do anything, anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! Aha! Ah! Ah! Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the stick of truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> <gasps> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited and plotted, all this time, to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Princess Kinney, come back here! Good. Welcome, where can I interest you in the book?
the stick, Princess Kenny. You don't want to go down like this, Beth. Dragonborn, you'd better pray for a miracle. 
Princess Kinney, you'll be invincible! Oh no you don't! A lucky shot, but no matter! Princess Kinney still has lots of tricks up her puppy sleeves! How's everybody doing tonight, good? Ow, I hurt my leg! You better go on without me! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Eyes on the apple. This next piece really resonates with people. Set him up and knock him down. Stay for a game and hide. Okay. For an Irish ruler. Hit them with the zombie vomit. <laughs> Princess Guinea. I mean, come on. An amazing feat of skill. There once was a maiden from st 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 from, st from st Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy did she sw boy did she sw swallow. I had a nice lance that she says that that she says set up her. The maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. Wow, what a terrific audience. They start to fight it! Give these vermin a taste of their own medicine, Princess Guinea! Come on, let's do this! Whew, 
I better ca catch my breath. For all the Jews, the Stolz of Freiheit! Stolz of Ergebenheit! Use your rainbow attack, Princess Guinea! Uh. The Stolz of Freiheit! For all the Jews! Hit them with the zombie vomit! Uh. Princess Kinney, call upon your beautiful Nazi unicorn! She doesn't stay dead. We can't beat her. Who we're fucked. There's no way. There is one way. We're gonna have to break the gentleman's code. What? Carmen, you can't possibly mean. What other choice do we have, Cal? King Douchebag, you remember long ago, I made you swear an oath to never fart on anyone's boss. I am now asking you. To break that oath. He's right, it's our only chance. Start on Princess Kenny's balls, King Douchebag! Do it! Now, King Douchebag, start on Princess Kenny's balls! What about the gentleman's oath? Show them, Princess Kenny! You have to do it now! Forget what you swore! No! Princess Kenny's balls are exposed! This can't be! Back to normal. We're, we're cured! You're all better now, Daddy. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick.
Go play with your new friends today. Oh, look, you've made friends. I'll be your friend too, sweetie. It'll make you look popular.